This is part two of session 63. Let's talk here about one of your favorite topics, dual activated bodies and harvest. Let's activate. All right, a quick refresher about last video, which was the first part of the session and how the conversation went from vital energies to the transition process of ascension, harvest, all of these uh, quantum leap topics that can be extrapolated out of this conversation. And most importantly, the transition that is happening. I think that's the key word. The transition that is going between third density and fourth density. So that led the conversation to talk about the the harvest process and then about a specific type of entities that are here on Earth. And I covered population and everything in that video. So if you're interested, go watch the previous video if you haven't. And that's going to give us context for obviously the rest of the conversation here, which is fascinating in this regard. Uh, but yeah, th this strange population, I, I call it strange because it doesn't fit our regular categories of uh, 3D repeaters and wanderers. So these are sort of 3D graduates from other planets that have come here to planet Earth to start their incarnation into four density in an early time. I'm going to refresh on all of that as we go through the questions here. But what you need to keep in mind is that there is this population of, let's say, newcomers, and there is a lot of them coming in. This is, again, uh, a mixing for those who want to be thorough on this. And this is my, uh, my full honesty. I am mixing the numbers that have been given by Kuo in 2018. I left a link in the description of the last video. I don't know if I'll remember to put it here, but it's there. If I do remember, I'll leave it here as well, where you can see the population of these entities from uh, third to fourth density, three, 3D, 4D entities. And the population has been growing tremendously from, I think it was, 35,000 years, let me just double check. Um, but it is from, from 35,000 or just a couple of thousand to about, yes, 35,000. And that's 35,000 in 1981. And now we have over half a billion, it seems, as of 2018. So again, uh, you can check those numbers in the channeling i'll leave it uh, a link i'll remember <laughs> if i do forget then go check it out in the last video but okay so we have these entities coming into planet earth and there's a reason for that um now this is where the conversation is going to who are these what do they do just a couple of questions about this it's going to leave a lot of um uh, clarity in terms of how the transition process goes, at least from my perspective. So let's get into it. Uh, this is question 13 of session 63, where Don continues the questions. And again, the last one that he asked was the population of this, um, of this, this entities that are coming into the earth, 35,000 at that time. Don says, now, these entities incarnate into a third density vibratory body. I'm trying to understand how this transition takes place from third to fourth density. I will take the example of one of these entities of which we are speaking, who is now in a third density body. He will grow older, and then will it be necessary that he die from third density physical body and reincarnate in a fourth density body for that transition? Ra says, these entities are those who, those incarnating with what you may call a double body in activation. 
it will be noted that the entities birthing these four density entities experience a great feeling of, shall we say, the connection and the use of spiritual energies during pregnancy. This is due to the necessity of four manifesting the double body. So let's make the first pause here. And um, Don is referring to how is the process of disincarnation? How are they different from us in terms of transitions? Because all humans are the same. We're all in the same vehicle. And so we have the same potential to experience this reality. And of course, to, mm, let's say, evolve, right? But how is this different from, from, a, from a metaphysical perspective, which is really what we're getting into? And of course, the origin and the development of the entity does affect the physical reality as it is perceived by the entity. Like I, just, I like to use the example. A newly graduated second density entity that goes into third density for its first incarnation has a very naive and uh, primitive view of the world. A human, full potential, but very uh, ignorant way. It has no reference. It's just started its incarnation. Whereas somebody who comes as a wanderer, say, or has been on planet Earth for a while through who knows how many incarnations, then there's a huge difference there. So. How is this difference in between the um, the 30, 3D graduates and um, and us? That's basically what Don is asking. So Ra goes to explain in the first paragraph that, okay, so this is the double body in activation. And there's a, there's a couple of theories, speculation and hypothesis about how, how does this happen? Can it happen here? I'll talk about that. Um, and says that this dual activated body, okay, uh, does affect the mother in, it creates an effect, it doesn't affect, the effect sounds like it's a negative thing, but it does create an effect on the mother that is um, carrying the child. And it's a feeling of sacredness or spiritual energies and this, sensation of divinity and it's interesting because i've heard these tells from people who are just not spiritual at all and they just have this feeling or those who are just recognizing this and say oh i understand why i had this experience with my child this is um, very common now as it seems so this is due to the necessity for manifesting the double body which is the influence to me. My interpretation is that there is an influence, of course, of the baby as it starts to form. The formation of the 3D physical body is carrying over the vibration of four density. So that impact in the mother is, I mean, you can't, you can't avoid that vibration is within you. It's your child. So, Oh, it's just something that you can you can use your imagination for that. But obviously it does affect the mother. And of course, they would feel four density vibrations. This is the sense of spiritual energies that Ron talks about. So they continue saying this transitional body is one which will be, shall we say, able to appreciate four density vibratory complexes as the in-streaming increases without the accompanying disruption of the third density body. If a third density entity were, shall we say, electrically aware of four density in full, the third density electrical fields would fail to due to incompatibility. To answer your query about death, these entities will die according to third density necessities. So here's where I'll throw my interpretation because I'll hear, I've heard different interpretations and I can only give you mine. I urge you to create your own based on what you know so far. But this is how I can patch it all up. Let's start with the dual activated body. To me, and just to keep it simple, a dual activated body, based on what we know, this is just following as scientific as possible, the understanding that we have, and then we can create all sorts of um, ideas and applications of it. But so far what we know is that a dual activated body is 
somebody, an entity, who literally achieved uh, harvest. That meaning that their four density body was activated. So they have a four density activated body. As opposed to a, say, my example of the 2D animal who has just graduated to third density, its four density body is in potentiation, meaning that is in the process of being developed or further developed, but in this case, developed. It just activated its yellow body, which is human body. And so this four density uh, activated body is just like wonders have all their bodies in activation. Uh, at least, well, it depends where they come from, but six density uh, wonders, let's say. They have all their bodies uh, activated already, but they come into third density with uh, a potentiated um, bodies. And this is why I believe that the veil of forgetting does create a sort of deeper illusion for everybody else. But the four density activated body gives the possibility of the individual to navigate fourth density. Let me rewind to something or refresh in something. Even though we're experiencing reality from a third density perspective right now, the planet is fourth density positive already. Okay, so keep that in mind in the background. We are living in a fourth density positive planet within a third density vehicle that has its limits in perceptions due to the veil but it is a four density activated sphere already. And all we're doing is bringing humanity up to that vibration. It's happening. It's going to take hundreds of years, perhaps. It may take a decade. It may take a year. It may take a week. It may take a second or like Ross said, 700 years, but it will happen. And so in the four density um, background that we have vibration, then the dual activated body of this specific entity is able to navigate it easier, like Ra says, without the disruption of third density body. So this, this has been interpreted in many ways, especially in the new age uh, perception that we're going to, and I, this could be true, I just don't see it myself. I have a different view of things, especially with what Ra says, but there is uh, the idea that we're going to transform ourselves into a light body. Um, this may sound very poetic to me, to be honest, um, but to me, this is just a process. And just like a, uh, a primate didn't completely transform into a full human, it needed DNA adaptations. I think the DNA adaptation to light body is going to happen over time and things are just going to show more uh, and we're going to become more accustomed to this. That's just my, my two cents. I don't know. But uh, what we do know is that uh, it does make sense that those who, who come into four density um, as graduates, let me put it this way, it's almost like they are in their four density body but they are manifested in third density uh, bodies as well because they can't be in four density completely here. So that's why they need both bodies. Now, I had a conversation with Aaron Abke. Go watch it. I think it was our uh, last one or second to last one. I forget. There's two of them. <laughs> so uh, in one of them, I know he told me about his uh, theory that the dual activated body is something that we can also achieve here, which is the awakening of the Kundalini. This does make sense, you see, and this is what I like about people investigating into these topics because we can get better ideas as to how things work. Now, the validity that I find in Apke's uh, theory is that we, we can definitely see how the nurturing of the Kundalini energy, meaning that more energy flows to the heart will allow us, whether we are activated in four density or not, um, we can allow the energies of the heart to be in consonant with the environment. The environment, again, the background I said is four density. So this is one way of perceiving the activation of the four density body, which is the heart or correlated to the heart chakra. And so this is how we 
we can definitely say that dual activated bodies are a thing of those who have graduated from other planets here and that because they need to have their early experience in fourth density as a third density entity they also activate their third density body and so they're living in both with the privilege of course of having the nature or natural state of feeling the love and vibration the loving vibration of the this planet to them is second nature let's just put it that way that doesn't mean that the people who are here and don't have this special dual activated body cannot do the same which is something that is nurtured of course are we to believe that jesus didn't have a dual activated body of course not it, this is completely achievable from anybody because we're all humans and we all have the capacity to feel the energy of the universe there is no limit to you and i i want to leave that there because a lot of people may feel oh i'm not a graduate they are better than us i'm not a wanderer they are so high forget about all that everybody's a human here everybody is an entity in the universe everybody is god how about that how about we put the law of one on the side and simply reside in the oneness of every one of us we wouldn't have to get into this complexity this is why I say to all my students that Law of One, Kabbalah, Tarot, um, whatever, Christianity, Course in Miracles, all of this stuff um, is complementary to the simple realization of oneness. Once you realize this, all of this can come as a supplement to who you are, what you know, and it's just enjoying life. This is enjoying life. This shouldn't be you know, the, the way in which you understand yourself. It's too complex. The way in which you understand yourself is just going to the true nature of who you are. And this is just the way I teach. This is how I like. Some people like to go through yoga practices and 20 years of mantra meditation and so on. That's fine. Everybody has their choice. I like to go straight to the heart of things. Then we can come out and enjoy reality from a new uh, point of view which is the oneness in us. So, let me go into the next question, 14, where Don says, you are saying then that for the transition from third to fourth density for one of the entities with doubly activated bodies, in order to make the transition, the third density body will go through the process of what we call death. Is this correct? Ra says the third and fourth combination densities body will die according to the necessity of their density, mind, body, spirit, complex, distortions. So this is another thing, another point that I didn't mention in the last paragraph. Um, everybody dies. Um, like I said, I, I've heard people, uh, popular people, talk about a sort of metamorphosis that will happen. And this usually elicits in the human mind the idea that in death, you're going to like your body i don't know you're not going to experience death because we so much dread death right and so we're going to be transform our mind is not going to change we're going to go from human to this um metaphysically i believe this is true yes those who are being harvested are going through this process for sure of seeing their third density body dissolve just like anybody else it's a shell and then go into the process of the metaphysical ascension. Uh, what I'm trying to shave off with my perspective, again, I could be wrong. Maybe we do go through a process of magical meta metamorphosis and our body just transforms from this physical chemical uh, arrangement to a more light and all, like I said, very magical. That could be true. I don't believe that's the case. I believe uh, everything goes back to where it should be, that meaning the, the material in which the body is made of and who we truly are in, it's not really who we truly are, but who we think we are, the soul that we are evolving as, um, let's say, individual entities within the creation, within the illusion of creation, each individual soul stream then we'll go through the metamorphosis process. So yes, we all die. We'll all, we're all gonna feel the process of death, whether that be 
sudden or very painful uh, or whatever it is, it's okay. It's just a shell. It's just an experience. And so this is the the belief I have. Um, I I just personally don't believe in a magical metamorphosis. Could be true, but I just think we just go through a simple process of dying, and then after that depending on where we are, well, we can see like Ross says, everybody measures their light in light of the light. <laughs> so uh, Ross says, says it better. Uh, they measure their vibration, basically, depending on the intensity of the light that is coming from four density and so on. <clears throat> so this is the process of harvest. Um, I do have more things to say, but let me go on because Ra says something else. Ra says, uh, to finish this question, we may respond to the heart of your questioning by noting that the purpose of such combined activation of mind-body-spirit complexes is that such entities, to some extent, consciously are aware of those four density understandings, which third density is unable to remember due to the forgetting. Thus, four density experience may be begun with the added attraction to an entity oriented towards service to others of dwelling in a troubled third density environment and offering its love and compassion. Ah, oh, so much beauty here. Where do I begin? So, as I was saying, um, Ra says that the purpose, the purpose of this dual activated body, okay? This is Ra's words. They say, to some extent, Okay, the purpose of this dual activated body, in essence, is what they're saying. To some extent, they are able to consciously be aware of those four density understandings, which third density is unable to remember due to the forgetting. So, uh, you see the difference between a dual activated body or individual and a, say, third density activated. This one has a complete veil of forgetting. Okay, so it's just human. I am a human and I see everything as a human. A dual activated body has a more permeability to the veil of forgetting, but only in the four density. Okay. So the veil of forgetting is permeable for them because their four density activated body is already there. And so they can feel in their energy body, the four density energies of love and understanding. So to them, it is not so difficult. You see, I love what Ra says to a certain extent or to some extent, right? To some extent, they are consciously aware of those four density understandings because they have permeability, like I said. And so this is important to keep in mind that the third density uh, entity, let's say I'm a third density entity. I don't have, I don't have a dual activated body. Well, how can I achieve the same thing of a dual activated body? Well, penetrating the veil of forgetting. Simple as that. How do you do that? It's the path of the adept, which is the disciplines of the personality. And that means just know yourself, accept yourself, become the creator. Aaron Apke talks about it as Kundalini awakening. Same process. We're all talking about the same thing here. It's about realizing our oneness and shedding the illusory uh, belief of separation, which is really what third density is um, is built on or is built around is the illusion of separation. And so everybody is capable of remembering the forgetting, which is what Ra says is the difference. So whether you do it one way or another, it doesn't matter as long as you can shed those beliefs of the separate self. So Ra continues and says something else about them. And they say, thus four density experience may be begun with the added attraction to an entity oriented towards service to others of dwelling in a troubled third density environment and offering its love and compassion. So this is the huge privilege the dual activated bodies uh, entity have in our planet. So imagine you graduate in a third density harmonious planet like Venus did, right? 
uh, you go to four density and you now have to work your four density um, work in consciousness. You have to spend so much time in, um, in four density, it's millions of years, trying to be harvested into fifth density because the way in which you polarize, or rather, rather do work in consciousness, because you're already, you polarize to a certain point in four density, finish polarizing, meaning finish saying, yes, I want to be service to others. And then the service to others is presented as a sort of emanation of love and light to those in third density. So this is the work in four density. I have a video on that. Go check it out. Work in four density, something like that. I think it's in the um, early 50 sessions, somewhere around there. Uh, but they do talk about this in the, in the raw material. And so the basic gist of it is that um, four density is the work in consciousness is just being projecting to third density, right? That's their work. Now, imagine that instead of being in four density and taking all of this time, because you will have no veil of forgetting, uh, catalyst is very small, you can actually be here in third density offering that same love and light. That is a huge boost. If you want to cheat the system, <laughs> you do this. Um, I say cheat the system, but you know what I mean. Uh, <laughs> it's just a way of accelerating your process of evolution tremendously. This is why planet Earth, contrary to what the vast majority of people who just uh, suddenly wake up and say, why am I here if I am from the Pleiades or from Arturas or why did I come here? Oh, I want to go back to my planet. This is the separate self talking. This is not the true being who came here to assist planet Earth, because that being does not care for itself, itself as the appearance that it is. And so it is a privilege to those who have been coming here from whatever planet, doesn't matter. You're here to give your service to Earth. You're here. And I say 500 millions, according to Kuo, or actually I was corrected by my grammar specialist. Latin is Kuo. So it's not Kuo. Um, so Kuo said that it's over 500 million. Did I say billion before? It's half a billion, 500 million. It's confusing for me. Um, and so this is this is the work. This is really their purpose. They're here, like Ra says, um, dwelling in a troubled third density environment and offering its love and compassion. So there is huge work to be done um, and you are of service. So imagine being able to uh, to do your work. It's like, I don't know, a thriving economy. That's exactly what planet Earth is. The economy of polarization is available here and it's thriving and nobody's working. Nobody wants to do the work. So they're paying, uh, I don't know, 10 times the, um, the normal amount, a hundred times, a thousand times. It's a beautiful time to do your work of service. So that comes from healing, of course, first, and then you start revealing that work in consciousness that you came here to offer to your brothers and sisters. So more questions. Let's go on. Don says in question 15, would the purpose in transitioning to Earth prior to the complete changeover then be for the experience to be gained here during the harvesting process? Ra says this is correct. These entities are not wanderers in the sense that this planetary sphere is their four density home planet. However, the experience of this service is earned only by those harvested third density entities, which have demonstrated a great deal of orientation towards service to others. It is a privilege to be allowed this early an incarnation as there is much experiential catalyst in service to other selves at this harvesting. So rise just echoing my words, or rather I echoed Ra's words prior to this question. Um, but yeah, Don's question was what um, the purpose of transitioning to Earth uh, before it changes completely is to experience, um, to gain experience during the harvest process. And Ra is just expanding on that, saying that 
first, these entities are not wanderers. That I know they're uh, a little um, specific about the the words that they use, and so it can generate a little bit of confusion because a wanderer should be anybody who comes from another planet. How come they're not wanderers? I suppose because they say that this planetary sphere is their choice of home. So they don't they don't come here to help and leave. They come here to help and stay. You see, that's the difference between a wanderer and a 3D graduate that comes here from another planet. So a wanderer comes here, it's a contractor, whereas the other one is a resident. See the difference? Um, yeah, so... Oh, I actually like that one. <laughs> yes, contractors and residents, or employees. I don't know, maybe I don't like it too much. It sounds like job and corporation, but you know what I mean. I need to use third density, use third density language, so... All right, so they say, uh, the experience of the service is earned only by those harvested third density entities, which have demonstrated a great deal of orientation towards service to others. Um... Let me see, I don't think I get this thoroughly. Okay, so the experience of this service, right? The service to, um, to four density, actually to third density. The experience of this service is earned only by those harvested third density entities which have demonstrated a great deal of orientation towards service to others. So, ah, of course, yes. Well, this is, this is the experience of um, coming from a four density activated body, right? I mean, you graduated already. You don't have to be in third density. So your experience is to know that you are a four density entity. And instead of doing the, the service that I was talking about before, the service from the working consciousness in four density, you do it from third density. So this is only experienced by those who have demonstrated a great deal of orientation towards service to others and are here in third density, of course. Ra further says that it is a privilege to be allowed this early an incarnation as there is much experiential catalyst in service to other selves at this harvesting. Basically, planet Earth is the thriving economy that I said in consciousness. So for those who want to work, listen, there's a lot of work to be done. <laughs> that work is just being you. You don't have to go study anything study yourself how about that learn about yourself then be yourself then become the creator <laughs> i like that all right question 16 don says there are many children now who demonstrate the ability to bend mental i love when don goes into this <laughs> All right, I'll repeat. There are many children now who demonstrate the ability to bend metal mentally, which is a fourth density phenomenon. Would most of these children then be this type of entity of which we speak? Ra says, this is correct. Then Don says, is the reason that they can do this and the fifth and sixth density wanderers who are here cannot do it. The fact that they have the fourth density body in activation. Ra says, this is correct. Wanderers are third density activated in mind, body, spirit and are subject to the forgetting which can only be penetrated with discipline, meditation and working. So circling back to my suggestion before about the wanderers being able to penetrate the veil and uh, remembering that which they forgot is done through discipline, meditation and working. I love this. Oh. God, I get so energized inside when I read this. Everybody is capable of doing this. Um, this is penetrating the forgetting, however. We're not talking about wonders being specials um, here. It's just that they have the possibility to remember their whole thing. Not like Matthias de Stefano, which a lot of people say, oh, Matthias remembers all his past life, life, um, um, yeah, all his past lives. Would I be able to do that? Maybe, I don't know, maybe all you need to remember is that you are the creator. Forget about your past lives. What is what is more important, what is deeper in the remembering process, process than to remember and live as the creator? 
This is what I call the direct path. Again, if you're interested, I have a course about it that is completely accessible. I made it so, so that everybody could buy it. And they say, buy it and not free because over the course of my last 10 years, I've been giving things for free to people. Nobody does it. <laughs> so there's always a price to pay. And when people invest, then they can get the best out of it. So it's there. Go check it out. The direct path. You go straight to your being. And then from there, you just start seeing reality from there. It's not like you become enlightened, but you receive the information of who you are and then continue there. That to me is the process of penetrating the veil in the purest form without too much practice and doing yoga and doing all of this stuff. This is what Ramana Maharshi gave us and Nisargadatta and others over time. Uh, and we have wonderful students. I recommend you Rupert Spira as well. Great teacher on the direct path. I owe him a lot of what I know. And of course, the non-dual traditions. Anyhow, uh, that was my ad, my little ad. I don't put ads here on my channel, if you haven't noticed. Um, so far, I hope to keep it this way. That's why the donations are there and all that stuff. But I do include my ad uh, for my courses now and then. So if you're interested, go check it out. Description box always. But to continue on with this. Um, so yeah, wonders can do that. Now, let me address Don's question because he talks about metal bending. Um, Don was fascinating with this stuff. Just like any Western mentality would be fascinated by um, miracles or paranormal um, abilities and so on. In the East, and when I say the East, I'm talking about the cultures that actually lived that. Perhaps this is absent now, nowadays, right? Because things have changed a lot. But um, in the past, cities or magic was not a big deal. It was something you know, doable. It's like, I don't know, um, here having an athletic body, you know, um, maybe in the future we won't have athletic bodies. Let's just, let me use my limited analogy on this. But people would look back and say, wow, some people actually do have an athletic body, you know, ripped and all that stuff, or not even that, but just the capacity of running, you know, 100 meters in less than 10 seconds. Wow, that's amazing. Can we do that? Yes, anybody can do it. But the training is not there. We forgot the training. We didn't care more about that. Let's just put it that way. And so magic is the same thing. Now, the thing with magic, what we call magic, which is just simply, can we call magic running 100 meters in less than 10 seconds? I would think so. Yes, that's a huge feat of achievement. But, you know, for us, it's just common because we see people do it. And so in the past, and possibly still in some areas in the East, magic is not so, um, you know, it's not something that we, we care. I mean, we admire it, we'd say, wow, you know, that's an immense use of power. But, you know, it's not something that goes into Hollywood, right? Nobody goes to Hollywood to see a guy running, you know, 100 meters in less than 10 seconds. We can see that in the Olympics or in training. People do it. Uh, it's very limited the amount of people that do it, but they do it. And so magic is the same thing. Um, is this because of these dual activated bodies? Yes, Ra says that's true. Um, I would mention about this magic is that it is not something to be achieved. Ra mentioned it already, and I second it tremendously because the purpose of being a human is not to become superhuman, if I can use that word. So again, all of this is possible because it's an infinite creation and you can do anything you want. But is that what you want to achieve? I don't know. It depends on you. In any case, Don goes on question 18 and says, I am assuming that the reason for this is that first, since the entities of harvestable third density who have very recently come here, they're coming here late enough so that they will not affect the, shall I say, polarization through their teachings. They are not infringing on the first distortion because they are children now. 
and they won't be old enough to really affect any of the polarization until the transition is well into transition. Can I say that right? They don't say that right. Until the transition is well into transition. All right. Seems like it. he did. Don continues and says, however, the Wanderers who came here and are older and have a greater ability to affect polarization must do that affecting as a function of their ability to penetrate the forgetting process in order to be within the first distortion. Is this correct? And Ross says, this is quite correct. Now, uh, this question is kind of convoluted to me because it assumes that uh, children won't be old enough to really affect any of the polarization until the transition is well into in in due course let's just call it that way um i gotta be honest i'm not sure how to, what to make out of this it is correct what don is saying but um they won't be old enough because they're children now but these children in 1981 and before are older now right so do they not affect it because the transition is well I mean, does this mean that people stop caring that much about it? I don't know. I'm not sure. So, hey, here's where you can come in in the comments and say, I believe this. Um, but yeah, Don is saying, I'm assuming that the reason for this is that first, since the entities of harvestable third density who have very recently come here, right? So the dual activated um, body entities, they're coming here late enough so that they will not affect the polarization through their teachings. So yeah, this seems to imply that because we're in fourth density already, they're not affecting, um, no, they're not infringing upon free will because they're children now. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how, I don't know how to put that in other than to say that maybe the planet's consciousness has grown beyond the um beyond being affected in their free will by having children who do this because we're still talking about oh maybe i'm thinking of metal bending still i'm still with don's mentality i think that might be right yes okay this makes much more sense all right all right um Right? Penetrating the forgetting in all of this. Uh, right. I mean, I'm going to interpret it this way because it makes more sense. I think. That... Um, because we're in four density already, the dual activated bodies, they're not infringing on free will precisely because everything has changed here already. And because it's changing, then we you see we're not affected by their, it's almost like, l l let me call them um, advanced beings because they are in consciousness, right? They come from four density graduates from, of third density to four density. And so if they were to come here in the past, they would have had a sort of dissimilarity with the vibration of the planet. And that would be um, like it happened in the past with interdimensional beings coming here and trying to, oh, let me help you guys and make you bigger. Oh my God, they became evil. Oh, let me give you pyramids. Oh my God, they became evil with the pyramids too. So something like that, I guess, what's being discussed here, I don't know. This is where I'm going speculative, speculative mode. But yeah, that's the only way I can understand this. I don't see how um, metal bending and other things can cannot affect the free will of other people that are not ready to see that or to... Maybe it's the resistance of people to not see it, almost like right now this coincides actually with the ufo disclosure that's happening that's happening no that happened already nobody cares for decades everybody was like release the information on ufos we know they exist they did it nobody cares <laughs> only the few you know uh niches here and there really care and they're like yes finally but nobody listens to us now <laughs> we were right all the time but nobody cared 
uh, or the disclosure on all the dark workings of the government behind the scenes, which a couple of decades ago, ago was just like, what are you talking about? The government conspiring against its own people? Pfft. What's wrong with you? You should be uh, penalized. You should be brought to the government. <laughs> people used to believe, I mean, people didn't believe this stuff. Now it's like all there in their faces. And now people, it's not about believing, but about uh, closing their eyes. You know, oh, no, I don't want to see that. It's too painful. My God, the government doing something wrong. And so on. There's so many disclosures going on right now. So I suppose this has the same effect that because we are in disclosure of four density that's happening, then they are not infringing on our free will by coming here and being so loving. So it's not a crime anymore to be loving, okay? That's what I get out of this. <laughs> uh, um, yeah. Whereas the wonders, because you see what, what Don says is that the wonders who came here and are older and have a greater ability to affect polarization must do that affecting as a function of their ability to penetrate the forgetting process in order to be within the first distortion. Yeah. The 3D graduates do it naturally. The wanderers need to go through the process of penetrating the veil. Okay. I'm not fully convinced on this, so please take it with a grain of salt and do your own interpretation as usual. Big reminder here, I'm just reading this material and making sense of it myself. If it resonates with you, take it. If it doesn't, reject it. So, we can go on with question 19, where Don says, It would seem to me that some of the harvestable third density entities are, however, relatively old since I know of some individuals who can bend metal who are over 50 years old and some over 30. Would there be other entities who can bend metal for other reasons than having dual activated bodies? Ross says this is correct. Any entity who by accident or by careful design penetrates intelligence energy, rather intelligent energy's gateway, may use the shaping powers of this energy. So. Uh, again, this just lends more validation and credibility to my interpretation that we as wanderers, we as primitive humans, we as animals who recently graduated to third density, we as dual activated body, we as humans can all penetrate the veil of forgetting and increase our use of this intelligent energy. The use of intelligent energy is not to bend metal or bend rocks or air bending like uh, Ang, Ang, Ang would do. <laughs> Avatar, anybody? Last Airbender. I actually just recently, recently watched it with my son and my wife, so that's why I remember it. It's a good show. You should go watch it. They talk about the chakras there too. In fact, it's viral that they share this in social media. Um, there's a guru talking to Ang main character explaining the chakras and how you um, unclog them and all this stuff. It's a pretty cool show for kids, but something to watch with the kids. Anyhow, uh, you can penetrate that and you can um, access these powers, which are the power of to work in consciousness, not just to bend metal and move rocks and so on. Uh, that's just the crude demonstration of the abilities of uh, a fourth density and beyond. It's not needed here. We move to question 20. So question 20, Don says, okay, now as this transition continues into fourth density activation, in order to inhabit this fourth density sphere, it will be necessary for all third density physical bodies to go through the process, which we refer to as death. Is this correct? Ra says, this is correct. We already talked about this, so I'll just brush it over once I cover the next question, which is question 21. Don says, now, are there many, I correct myself. He says, now, are there any inhabitants at this time of this four density sphere who have already gone through this process? Is it now being populated? Ra says, this is correct. 
only in the very, shall we say, recent past. Don says, I would assume this population is from other planets since the harvesting has not yet occurred, has not occurred yet on this planet. It is from planets where the harvesting has already occurred. Is this correct? Ra says, this is correct. Don says, then are these entities visible to us? Could I see one of them? Would he walk upon our surface? Ra says, we have discussed this. These entities are in dual bodies at this time. <laughs> Uh, it's funny. Don went through a different imagine, imagination of questions or a line of questions based on an imaginary line, <laughs> which was the same they were talking about before. So I'll just read this because, I, first of all, I find it funny and I love funny stuff. And yeah, then, um, then because it does solidify a little bit more the title of this video which is dual activated bodies and the harvest process and this transition process it's to better understand this reality right now so um don says that first he's just getting clarification that everybody will die oh that sounds so grim <laughs> for those who fear death are we all going to die yes we're all going to die it's almost like saying, are we all going to have a blast? Yes, we're all going to have a blast. Am I going to enjoy life? Yes, you're going to enjoy life. That's exactly what it is. Death is joy. Death just looks... Death Death looks horrible. It looks uh, terrible to the separate self. So the more we live in the separate self, the more horrified we're going to be with death. The more we see the beauty of creation, then, you know, we're going to be rejoiced by it. Look at your plate. Your plate is made of dead stuff. I don't care if you eat vegetables, whatever. It's all dead. Even a fruit is dead. It's just decaying. It slows. It decays slower than other food stuff, but it's dead already. So you eat dead stuff. All right, the same thing. The universe eat dead, <laughs> dead humans. Uh, I can see how Hollywood can make this um, another. There's actually a movie called, uh, what is it called? Is it Ascend Jupiter, Jupiter Ascending. <laughs> and it's the same process of harvest, but they, just like in the Matrix, they use batteries. At least AI is a little bit more credible. The other one is like using you know, entities uh, harvesting actual human beings. Hollywood really distorts things. I mean, it, it, it grabs one beautiful concept and makes it completely, um, goes bunkers with it. Anyhow, it's not Hollywood. This is the law of one. And everybody will die, my friends. We're all going to die. That's it. You know, don't you feel like a, a, a relief? Knowing that you're going to die, you're like, okay, you know, this is not forever. <laughs> I'm going to die. It's, um, let me enjoy it then. What am I going to do? I'm going to die. Let me enjoy it. Live every day as if you're going to die. Oh, we can explore that for so long here, philosophizing. In any case, here's where Don starts asking about the inhabitants at this time of this four density sphere. And he starts thinking, I'm, I'm thinking that there is another uh, sphere right which is true it's there and that these four density now keep in mind this is something that we need to um we need to update i don't think there is a maybe there is i think there is actually a channeling but i don't want to um i don't want to put myself on on the fire i don't want to put my hand on the fire here but i do believe i read at some point a channeling from Kuo, who says something to this effect so i'm going to just speculate here but i'm pretty sure there is a channeling where they confirm this so check this out ah i like this so the inhabitants at this time this is 1981 keep that in mind it's important the inhabitants at this time of this four densities fear who have already gone through this process is it now being populated meaning that the sphere of four density is being populated. And Ra says, this is correct, only in the very, shall we say, recent past. 
keep in mind that they also said, let me read it for you because I have it right here. Um, when they talked about the dual activated bodies, right? They said, um, what do they say? This is a product. Does that number include harvestable entities? This is correct. Uh, and oh, come on. I know I have it here somewhere. In the very recent, ah, oh, I missed it. I, I'm not going to read it here. But in this same session, they said that the four, it's a new phenomenon. Is that what they said? I said something. Yes, there it is. This is a recent phenomenon and the number is not yet in excess of 35,000 entities. Okay, so keep that in mind. I want you to keep those in mind. First is that it is 1981. Ross said that it was a recent phenomenon. And Ross says here in question 21 that this is in the recent past that for density has been, um, it's been populated, okay? Now, what I want you to see is that Don is thinking that four density is something separate in 1981 from us. And he, he asked again, I would assume this population is from other planets since the harvesting has not occurred yet on this planet. That is true. It is from planets where the harvesting has already occurred. Is this correct? Ross says, yes, this is correct. These are the dual activated bodies as uh, Ross says. And you can see the question that Don Don is going through this fear in four density is there. This is how I believe Don was thinking, obviously. To me, it is obvious that he was thinking of a different Earth. You know, it's like there are entities living in four density. But Ross says this is correct that entities are living in four density, but they're here in third density. And so Don says, then are these entities visible to us? Could I see one of them? Would he walk upon our surface? And then Ross says, we have discussed this. These entities are in dual bodies at this time. So why did I say keep in mind that it's 1981? Because the harvest had not started yet. It was beginning to happen. It was going to happen in 2011 or possibly 2012 to align with everything else that was happening. Big 2012. But whatever. It was around that time. It wasn't at the striking of the clock because we humans design a calendar that is so perfect that doesn't even know about <laughs> uh, the Gregorian calendar. Sure. Um, it's not that precise. There is a cosmic clock and then there is a human calendar. But around that time is where harvest started. Now, Don's mental um, presumption that there was a four density sphere was correct what was a little bit deviated from the um, the information that Rob was giving is that in 1981 this four density was simply vibrating but it wasn't ready to be populated this happened in 2012 or around that era or that time where um, four density uh, activation actually happened and now those who are being harvested can decide to reside in four density planets earth or to return in incarnation to keep helping i don't know how people are deciding entities and so on but this is what i get that in 1981 all those four density entities had to come here and incarnate in third density bodies with their four density activated body as well but in third density with a human body whereas now there is a choice. If you were harvested, imagine um, imagine humans who were ready for harvest in 1981. Um, they could have just stayed in time space and wait for the harvest. Ra said that this is true. This is what would happen. They could stay in time space and say, you know what, I'm just going to wing it until 2012 or so, and I'll just go activate a um, myself in four density, planet Earth. Uh, so this is happening. This is what I believe I read in a channeling from Kuo um, where they said that this is happening already. I think so. They talked about harvest a lot, so I'm pretty sure I did. I just don't have it in in my repertoire, my mental repertoire. Uh, so I can't I can't share it.
But if I do, I'll probably leave it. But I won't, because I won't remember. <laughs> um, I just won't remember the session itself. In any case, this is what's happening. It's the four density um, activation that is um, that's happened already. And uh, these entities are here. They are in four density. In actual four density, space time, I would think. Um, maybe. And in the past, they had to be here as humans, which are very much a lot of us. A lot of us are from, um, I don't know myself, but I say a lot of us who are interested in this uh, material definitely are vibrating in that um, dual activated body. And that's the end of this video. Exactly on the hour. I love it. Um, conclusions. I believe that the most important thing we can take out of this, I mean, this is, you see, the raw material, it's beautiful to see reality from a different point of view. But I, I keep going back to the teachings of Ra when they say the disciplines of personality. Know yourself, accept yourself, become the creator. Uh, they said it here too that the basis of this is uh, meditation the work in meditation this is knowing yourself this is why uh, meditation is so important and it is um, recommended by any reputable source of information that wants you to become to improve yourself. I'm, I'm leery of using words that uh, have this connotation of I must improve myself. I must become better. The right word is revealing who you truly are. I guess it's okay for certain people to treat themselves as if they need to become something. All right, fine. But that is not the truth. That's not the truth. That is simply a way of seeing things. And this information can be inspiring, like I said, to know that we are living on a planet that needs our service. And our service is to be ourselves. We don't need to learn anything to be ourselves. You do this when you're alone at home and you become silly. You know, you do silly stuff. I hope you do. Otherwise, I'm just putting myself out there. I do silly stuff. I dance, I move, I, I do things like a kid. I wouldn't do that on camera. <laughs> Too self-conscious. Um, but yeah, you know, just, just be, you listen to music, you know, when you're listening to music and you're dancing and stuff and somebody looks at you and then you feel self-conscious or not, you know, you just keep dancing and say, woohoo, you know, this is awesome. Well, extrapolate that into your, uh, personality, who you are, what you say, you know, the things you want to do, the things you don't want to do, you don't worry about consequences, you just be you, see, um, this is really, this is the Zen way to, you know, just become spontaneous. You can become spontaneous. You are spontaneous already. Stop preventing your spontaneity, <laughs> rather. Um, so, you know, this is, this is all great uh, about dual activated bodies and, you know, um, developing your heart chakra. All of this is information. The true essence of this is just you being liberated from all the constrictions of your ego and the separate self and uh, any anything that you say negative about yourself let's put it that way so that's it that's all i got for this second part as you can see i will need another i still have another 20 slides i think it's 10 more questions to go uh they go deeper into population harvest right we're still going to harvest, yes. Um, harvest, harvest, harvest. We got a lot of harvest to keep talking about. So if you like harvest, stay tuned for the next video. I thank you for watching. You are the best. You are the creator. Keep doing what you do. Go meditate. Close your eyes for a second. Put the phone away, the computer, anything. Just close your eyes or contemplate. Do something right now after this video. Please do it for me. Want to show me gratitude? 
don't like, don't subscribe. Just go close your eyes and merge with yourself. Having said that, like and subscribe. <laughs> Share it if you want. I love you, my other self. I'll see you in the final part of session 63.